Hi everyone, welcome back to Bright's Virtual Makerspace. Today we're making a red poppy. It's kind of a pinwheel. Doesn't spin very well, but it is pretty. Uh, one of the reasons that we're making a red poppy today is because this is the flower of remembrance. These are the flowers that grew on the battlefield after World War I. So they're used in many different types of remembrance, including war and just lost loss of a loved one. So let's get started. It's Here's what the kit looks like. We've got plenty of them here at the Lucero Library, so if you'd like to stop by and get one, you can. We've got a paper straw, a little brad, and a poppy cutout. What we want to do is we want to carefully take scissors and poke holes where the black dots are. We want to be careful not to cut ourselves. So if you're coming in, maybe ask an adult for help or assistance. It's always a good idea. So one on each petal and then one in the middle. And then we want a hole through our straw as well. So you'll take your poppy and you'll put your brad through it kind of sideways to make sure it doesn't rip too bad. Get all your corners in there so it folds over to make a flower. Always remember your crafts don't have to be perfect. It's easiest to lay it down to put a hole in it. And there you go. It's supposed to be in there, but it ripped. So but there you go. You do have a red poppy. It's nice and cute. You can give it to somebody or keep it for yourself for remembrance. And do remember that not all veterans like to be thanked for their service. So maybe ask before you say thank you. Or maybe just acknowledge it in some other way. Thank you, and I'll see you next Thursday. Yep, next Thursday for Brit's Virtual Makerspace. Thanks. Bye.